In a nutshell, Exxon Shell is a shell language and command prompt that combines the familiarity of traditional shells with the expressiveness of Python. This means you can use both shell commands and Python code interchangeably. Let's not talk too much and dive into some Python and shell awesomeness. One of the coolest features of Exxon Shell is its support for the Python syntax. You can use Python directly in your shell commands. This is a very simple example, definitely. But nevertheless, let's take a look at some more complex examples. Just in order to show you that there is even more possible, let's iterate a two-dimensional array to build a certain string. One might think now, what's so cool about that? Just open the Python shell from Bash and that's it. But let me explain to you that Exxon Shell comes with its own virtual environment and hence with its own dedicated packages. As you can see, I'm using xpip instead of pip in order to install the requests Python package. I'm then using it in order to send a request to the Hacker News API and retrieve a certain amount of news. So think of installing arbitrary Python packages in your shell language and use them in various scripts. It is not only about using Python alone in the shell with a dedicated virtual environment where you can install arbitrary Python packages. What makes Exxon Shell especially cool is the possibility to work with traditional shell and Python commands interchangeably. This is where the beauty of Exxon Shell lies in being able to combine shell with Python commands, as shown here, where I iterate over a bunch of local files to get the actual file sizes. But how does this work? Exxon Shell runs shell commands and subprocesses. Each command is executed in a separate subprocess and the output is captured and returned to the Exxon Shell environment. This behavior helps maintain a clean and isolated environment for each command. Let's take a look at some customization features. As you can see here, Exxon Shell runs a local server with a UI for customizing a lot of elements like the overall theme, the prompt, environment variables and aliases. This is a behavior that is not only dedicated to Exxon Shell, but also is known from, for example, the fish shell. But, nevertheless, a nice to have feature. Another point that Exxon Shell has in common with the fish shell is the auto-completion feature by parsing from the actual man pages of the respective tool, as you can also see here in the comparison matrix. Parsing man pages is a boon for auto-completion because it provides a direct source of truth for available commands, options and arguments. This ensures suggestions are accurate and up-to-date, reflecting the latest functionalities documented in the man pages. This not only saves you time by reducing typing, but also helps prevent errors by suggesting valid options based on the specific command you are using. You can see the parsing background if we compare the man page of grep with the actual auto-completion suggestions of Exxon Shell for it. The ability to write custom plugins for Exxon Shell is a game changer for several reasons. First, it empowers you to tailor the shell experience to your specific needs. Imagine creating a plugin that automates repetitive tasks you frequently perform, saving you time and effort. Furthermore, Exxon's support for community plugins opens a door to a vast ecosystem of functionalities. You can leverage plugins created by others to extend Exxon's capabilities without reinventing the wheel. This gives you access to tools and features contributed by the Exxon community, keeping your shell environment fresh and adaptable. Exxon Shell shines in customization compared to shells like Bash. It's always a question of ease of use, if you ask me. You can write plugins directly in Python, ditching the need for a new scripting language. Exxon Shell plugins integrate seamlessly, unlike managing separate scripts in Bash. A thriving community shares pre-built Exxon Shell plugins, saving you development time. Overall, Exxon makes customization effortless, powerless, especially for Python users. Exxon Shell breaks away from the mold with respect to command history by allowing you to write custom backends. Imagine the history you type in the shell. Exxon Shell normally stores that in its built-in way. But with custom backends, you can change where that history is saved and how it is synchronized. Let's say you prefer a cloud storage solution. You can write a backend to store your history there. What I do in this specific context just for demonstration purposes is to connect my Exxon Shell to Apache CouchDB, a NoSQL database. I will provide the respective code for this backend as a public gist in the description box below. Feel free to reuse it. I use Docker to create an instance of CouchDB and set up a dedicated database inside for Exxon Shell. As you can see, I am typing now various commands and they are synchronized with CouchDB immediately. Of course, in clear text, but feel free to encrypt your commands before synchronization. In CouchDB, I have now information about when the command was processed, the result code, as well as the command itself, of course. 
Nevertheless, the project is still very young and the software is in version 051, but it is very promising especially for Python enthusiasts as me. Definitely worth to check it out, I'll post the necessary links below. Tell me if you would like to see more content on Exxon Shell and do not forget to like and subscribe. Until then, happy coding and cheers. Thank you.